share this video out as we listen to Greg Connors with his song. This is a weird one. The title it is. I, the song's cool. Actually, a little different, too. But more close than more strange. I hope I got that right. On Indie Music Live, episode 76. Consumed with his survival And the degree of his bereft I used to see him in town Now he's never around Stranger gets closer than stranger the most fashionable client in rehab he was a popular guy he laughed at my stories about evading the bar tabs he put his arms around me when I'd cry I used to see him in town but now he's never around Stranger gets closer than stranger More close than more strange If anybody didn't notice, we have a new format tonight. It's the square format. We're giving it a shot, seeing what's up. I'm looking at my phone. I'm not really looking at you, but that's because I'm going through all the comments. Welcome, everybody. Dudes, dudes and ladies, we don't know where Be Easy is. If anybody you knows, make sure he's okay if you know him because he's not getting back to us, which is pretty rare. He normally gets back to us like last minute if you know him, but uh, I don't know. It's, it's not like him, so hopefully he's all right. Um, so let's see, Nicole Lobato, if you're still here, welcome, Michael Smitty Smith, how you doing, brother, good to see you, we're playing Lower the Veil tonight, Michael is one of the managers of the band, Joanne Wilson, hello, hello, she says, hey, David Werba's here, I know him, Frenchie Red's in the house, something really cool tonight, we put it in the, uh, that's, that's great, Dave, thanks, something really cool tonight, um, (laughs) we put it, um, in the description last minute, um, about, the brand new Indie Music Live Street Report that came in a couple of weeks ago. I just finally got a chance to get to it t- uh, today, actually, to edit it. So we got Allison Krauss in the house. She is, oh, that was awesome, right? Allison kind, Krauss yeah. in the house. It was kind of awesome. I'm a poet. I didn't know it. I'm sorry. I could never help yes, say that one. Awesome. Oh. Anyway, K Soul is here. Connie Cody, Christine Wade. Hello, hello. Dennis Halsey Broken. That's hopefully all these people are still here. Calamari, what's up, dude? Thanks for the post on Twitter today. The shout out. Francesca Red is here. There you go. Not what I say you're saying. So, <clears throat> Loopy has changed his name to Chris Swan here. We also got Greg Connor's music. That's the guy we listened to. Let him Are we going to critique the song we just played, Joe? One second. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's right. I'm sorry. Susie Lovelace was here. Hey, actually, just ran down the street from you the other day. So, anybody, you guys are killing me with the comments. Thank you very much. What? Yeah. Rob just rented her movie. Okay. Very exciting. Sure that means, but that sounds good. <laughs> See, Rob, we need to be able to feed your voice in so everybody can hear you, man. That would That's, be awesome. I would really like that. <laughs> is that Debbie Does Dallas or Deep Throat? Which one? Oh, come on. One now. of those two. Hey, Joe. Kids may be listening. So, okay, Dave, what do you think of this song? I was thinking like Jeff Buckley meets uh, Southern. Flaming Lips? <laughs> sure. <laughs> yeah. With a little cake in there and maybe. A little bright eyes too, you know, just like a stripped down sound. I've been listening to Bright Eyes lately. It's got some amazing stuff, obviously, but yeah, I uh, I'm sure some people are like waiting for me to kind of rip on the production and the engineering. It's it is, you know, a little 
little shaky, like the quality of it, but it kind of fits the sound in a way. And I, I really dug this song, dude. Like the yeah, lyrics yeah. were quirky and it's just artistic and it it was it sounded nice enough to, for you to be able to get the I don't know just get the feel of what he was trying to do I think um yeah I I don't know part of me longed for some better production uh but I dug it man I, I, it, was, it was a cool song it was different I I like different and I think someone was saying this could be a soundtrack for a tv show and yeah it's just it's it it sticks with you so I like well, it's it. cool to me. Like this isn't normally a genre I would pick. I mean, you know, I kind of go between, you know, classical hip hop and death metal. So who knows what I'm really listening to that day? But not, not normally this kind of genre. But um, the story behind it, I'm not exactly sure what story is. But if you listen to the lyrics, there's some pretty cool things if you can follow along. We only played a two minute sample, so I highly encourage you to just Google search him. Uh, he was supposed to be in the room tonight. I don't know if he's here, but Greg, speak up if you're still around um, and talk with the people because uh, we've been talking about you being here in the oh, chat. Oh, we got his Facebook page right on the screen there. Look Hopefully at that. You're here. 